once we've decided on the market that we want to test, the next step is market understanding. And this video is going to show you how AI can dramatically reduce the time we need to take. It's very exciting. When I was doing the challenge all those years, one of the biggest problems that a lot of people had with the market is, well, they had to talk to them. You may laugh and think, oh, that's a, that's a weird thing. But for a lot of you, me included, you have to speak with people because we need to truly understand the market and understanding the market takes time. The promise of AI is we can dramatically decrease the time it takes to understand our market. So what does that mean? If AI can be our research partner in this market, then we have the opportunity to cut weeks off the process of creating a product and making some money. So I created this test. I wanted to find out if AI could help reach market understanding quicker than using old interview and traditional methods. What's all this about market understanding it? Why is it so important? One of the huge errors people make when they get an idea for a business and create it is they take that idea, which is great, but the problem is they then go and build it. They build the product, they write the book, they film and the course, and it takes an enormous amount of time. A book can take you a year, two years to write. And then when you release that product, that book, that course to the market, nobody actually wants it. It's devastating. You put all, all that effort, energy, and time in to do that. Breaks my heart. The process we do around here, and we've always followed in the 30 day challenge is to make sure we understand the market first. It's cool. You're starting with an idea. That's great. Let's put it on the shelf. Now let's go and understand the market. In the old days, that took time. Now, and absolutely key for the secret source for us to create it is market understanding. Let me explain. If I was to create a formula and funnily enough, I just have secret source equals market understanding multiplied by prompt whispering. But let's break that down. What do I mean by market understanding? I've been saying it a lot. What's it actually mean? It means you understand the pains of the market. You understand where they want to go, what their hopes, their dreams are, the gains of the market. You also need to understand what are the techniques, what are the opportunities, what are the products, what are the services that get them from pain into that gain, AKA, and this is a very famous methodology, jobs to be done. These are the jobs your product or service you will create are being hired to do. So your customer, your prospect, your community member is able to go from where they are currently to where they want to get to. In an ideal world, out of pain, into gain. That's what we mean by market understanding. By the way, we're going to talk about jobs to be done. I'll create a separate video on that. The team that created the methodology was led by Bob Moesta. It's a really interesting methodology. So what is prompt whispering? I hear you saying. It's our version of prompt engineering. What's the difference between prompt whispering and prompt engineering? The prompts we create around here are a little bit weird from a engineering, a software development perspective, a programming perspective, a tokens perspective, where you pay open eye and the like for every query you make in the context of that world, our prompts are wasteful. They're repetitive. The insight we had around here was if you're working with a large language model like ChatGPT or Claude or Llama, language being the key word, language is designed for communication, not programming, communication. When we talk about prompt whispering around here, there's a whole bunch of videos on this channel where we really dive deep into this particular topic, is we understand we're communicating and all the laws of communication apply when you're creating a prompt. So if you combine our take on prompt engineering, prompt whispering, and you then add into that market understanding, like we do around here, that's like bringing a gun to a knife fight, but that's not all. 
there are steak knives. The bonus here with doing this market understanding work is that we're actually doing an enormous amount of work for what we call around here, superior marketing, because that's the only type of marketing we do around here. The work we're going to be doing in these next few videos is going to directly pay off when we start marketing our product. Remember, I promised you, we've seen this script before. We know exactly how this rolls out. It's just one or two order of magnitude bigger this time. People are going to automatically roll out a bunch of stuff. They're going to flood the app stores, the GPT app stores. They're going to flood the bubble apps. They're going to flood all of this sort of stuff with easily automated, created stuff. And yeah, bless them. Good luck. But here's what they're not going to do. Superior marketing. Probably not going to do any marketing. They're hoping that they can play or cheat the algorithms to get an edge. And some of them will. And some of them will be successful. And you can guarantee that they're going to create a course around it. But around here, we're in this for the mega opportunity, not just for Christmas, it's for life. But if you combine the secret source, market understanding, multiplied by prompt whispering, and then you add superior marketing, that's a recipe to hear the lamentations and whimpering of the hundreds of thousands of competitors you will lay waste to. I may or may not have watched Conan the Barbarian recently. All right. So how do we do this? Let me explain the test. I thought, who can help me? And then I remembered my amazing legends who subscribe to my newsletter. And indeed, they're a group which actually pay. It costs less than an expensive coffee. Actually, I had a mushroom cappuccino in Laguna Beach last week, and I can assure you a month worth of being a paid member to my newsletter was cheaper than that very fancy mushroom cappuccino, which was very good. So I asked the paid subscribers to help me with the following test because I needed to, it's one thing for me to test and check, but I really needed people to understand the markets so we could see how well ChatGPT and we use GPT plus for this case, remember life's too short for GPT 3.5. So what I did first was ask them to ask ChatGPT, what were the biggest problems with their job, right? I figured we all know the problems with our day job, right? We can probably list them in our sleep. So I thought, ah, this will be an interesting test because problems is the first place to start when it comes to market understanding. People will do way more to get out of pain then they will to achieve some sort of gain. So I just asked them to type in a, a specific type of prompt. I didn't encourage interviewing or drilling down because I really wanted to see how GPT plus handled it at the very top level. Spoiler alert, not bad. It was pretty good. The more regionalized or specific the job, the less effective it was in identifying the specific problems, but it, it did a pretty good job. It did an okay job. If I was to apply an average number across all of the results, I would have said six to seven out of 10. There was something interesting though, because of the question we use, ChatGPT universally gave us a list of 10 different problems for those particular jobs. And it had them in order from one to 10. Now, me being me, I didn't assume that was like in order of one to 10. But many of the paid legends thought, oh, uh, that's the rank order of one to 10. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if that's the case. My hunch was no. This led to test number two. The following day, I made a post for all of my paid newsletter subscribers. And I said, hey, can we do this again? I decided to create a test around hobbies. And I've got to say, I was nervous because if these results didn't go the way I'd hoped they would, then I don't know how much AI would have been able to help us with market understanding because most people, when they're doing the challenge or they're creating a business, love to create a business in a hobby, something that they love. That makes sense. So I was nervous in the post. I asked all of my legends to ask two questions, one after the other. The first one was, what are the biggest problems people have learning Dungeons and Dragons, substitute your market, something that you're very aware of. And then once you've got this, 
ask this question, follow up. Of these problems, which one of these would be the biggest problem? The results were mind blowing. <laughs> Paid legends started reporting in and they were excited. You can see here, there was all these different niches from training breeds of dogs, birding in your backyard, all of these different things. And universally, GPT plus was brilliant at identifying the key problems in that market. I must say it nailed it for learning Dungeons and Dragons as well. Then when they asked the follow-up question, it actually confirmed that I was wrong. I can't be right. No, I was wrong. ChatGPT was ordering those problems in the way it thought were like one to 10 because it would identify the problem that it listed as number one as the biggest problem. And interestingly, started to go in more depth and detail in a lot of cases, not all, but a lot. This is really interesting. So ChatGPT nailed it. What are the ramifications? The first one is that the time to market understanding has been slashed just with this too. When it comes to hobbies, ChatGPT and particularly uh, GPT-4 is on the money. I'd love it if you use other LLMs like Claude and Llama to do the test and let me know below. The third ramification is that we know how good large language models are at role playing, playing characters. It's actually one of the things they are best at and it's dramatically underutilized. So if that's the case, there are a number of interview strategies that have been groundbreaking in market understanding. It's almost like cheating. The downside is you have to do about five to seven of these interviews to make sure you've got a really great coverage of market understanding. So you'd actually have to get on Zoom, you'd have to call, you'd have to meet people, you have to go to trade shows, took time. In fact, some of these, and, and I use a modified version of Ash Mariah from Leanstat, his customer journey interview. If I do that with a client for copywriting and I interview five of their best customers, I will have a better market understanding than the client themselves. That's how good they are. What if I could do these interviews with ChatGPT? The impact on creating a business and particularly as we pave the way for doing the AI 30 day challenge next year would be profound, like scary profound. Clearly that's next. So the paid legends and I are going to test these interview techniques with ChatGPT to see how they do. It's excited. I can't wait. Do you want to be part of all of this? There's a link below to my Substack, the little blue report. It's free to sign up, but you can also become a paid legend. And if you do, then you get early access. You get to see all of the things that I'm testing. So frankly, you can see what I'm doing and take advantage of it. So you can move quickly in your market. It's less than the cost of a mushroom cappuccino for a whole month. It's a bargain. I'd love you to join us. Here's something though, that you can do right now. I want you just to prove it to yourself. How cool this is to take a hobby that you're familiar with, that you really know. I would recommend you stay away from money-making AI entrepreneurial stuff. Hey, what's the biggest problem in learning hobby and apply it? Use Claude, use 3.5, use Llama, use GPT-4. And let us know in the comments below. How'd you go? What did you get? How, how did it work for you? Did it identify the key problems in your hobby? I think you'll be really surprised with the results. Maybe not because I've spoiled it, but it'll be great for you to see with your own thumbs and your own hands how well this works. So let us know in the comments below how you did. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.